Good afternoon, this is Heather from Surreal Oracle Stories, and we're going to do a quick reading today. Uh, we're finishing up our uh, week with the Woodland Wardens deck that we've been um, using. And next week, we're going to be going to the Celtic Spirit Oracle, and that is by Nicola McIntosh. She's from New Zealand, so we'll see how these cards work for us. I'm still trying to get to know a little bit about them. I've been reading the book that has come with it. A lot of it has, like, um, Scottish and Irish lore with the cards, so I'm going to make sure I get the um, readings correct. Um, I've been reading out of this book, I Can Mend Your Broken Heart. It's by Paul McKenna. He's a PhD. And this is about overcoming emotional pain at the end of a relationship. And you can use this book not just for, um, you know, like a man and wife divorce, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. You can also use it for job loss, really any kind of loss that you would have. But I'm going to read a little bit each day when I do a reading, just enough, and then we can pull um, some cards to see how it corresponds with it. So this particular chapter is called, You Are Not Alone. You are going through an experience that is universal and yet unique. Every human being, rich or poor, unknown or famous has the potential to love and therefore the potential to feel heartbreak and each of us has our own unique lesson to learn from it the buddhists say that our hearts are meant to be broken because that is how they open from that point of view it would be a great sadness to get through life without having your heart broken at least once when relationships don't work out we learn something about ourselves that we can't get anywhere else. Only in relationships where we care greatly do we meet our own deepest values and the most profound imprinting that we carry from our childhood. Only when we have been opened up by love for another person do we become vulnerable and malleable enough for our experience to have such a great possibility of personal change and evolution? That's pretty poignant for me because it means that we have to give of ourselves as well as to another. We are responsible for ourselves first and then the other people that we take care of. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a cough today. Allergies are bad. Often people get it mixed up where they think that the people that you care for come first before yourself. And ultimately, I think because we don't care, care for self, a lot of our problems come from that. So that's all I'm going to say on that subject. So let's see uh, what the cards have in store for us. Adaptability. There might be a glare on these cards. Let me see if I can... Um, I don't like this light. It's hard to... And there we go. Let me just go up just a little bit. Okay. Sorry for the interruptions. I'm not going to take all these. This is starting over kind of goes along with the article we just read. Well, not article, part of the book. Chapter out of the book. I really recommend that book. I know a lot of people don't have time to read, but they have it on audiobook, so you can play it while you're going out throughout your day. Metamorphosis.
mischief. Can't put it back once it comes out. Strength. Let's do our reading now. Bottom of the stack is preparation. There may have been someone in your life that was doing mischief. He's shown up a lot in our readings the last week and a half. Look at his face. Always up to no good. Can't trust him. Don't know which way he's going to go or what he's going to do. Hiding in the foxglove. Those are pretty high in the field, so you can't really see these guys. So... It looks like he's looking around all over the place to make sure he is not seen for what he has done. By him doing this, I'm just saying he, it could be she as well, just for convenience. By him doing the mischief or the lying, that could have started you on your path to starting over into your new life. The snake slithers and it'll wind its way around things and it can move quite quickly. And it adapts to all different kind of conditions. So I think this is telling you to keep moving forward that you are going to be able to do that as well. No matter if you have a broken heart or was dealing with the liar and you're having to start all over again. Starting over is like a renewal of life, so to speak. Like what was um, being said in that book. Your heart might have been broken, but you still have the capability to start over. Pick yourself up and start over. That's the metamorphosis as you start the change frogs start out as tadpoles you ever remember those from school and they don't have arms or legs and then uh, a few weeks go by and they start developing them this oh i'm sorry this metamorphosis i think has come out of the three flowers that are up there i'm attributing this to a third party of something not just cheating it could be anything or three people in your life that have disappointed you or you had to pull away from and this is going to give you the strength to get through your metamorphosis or your change you're going to need strength which that elk if you look at him he's pretty old He's been around for a while. He's got the high antlers. He's kind of a big dude. He's been around. He's led a herd with him and he's still going. He has the strength to get through anything. The winters, the spring, the hot summer. You can do this. You can do this. In saying all that, it's going to take adaptability. You have to be flexible with where you're starting out at. It might not be ideal, but it will do for the time. And the only reason why I'm saying that is I've been in the process of it for the last five years. And I knew it was going to be like a five to eight year climb after leaving my abusive second husband that I had it wasn't ideal I had to drive an older car that was breaking down left and right I had to live in a tiny 500 square foot apartment but it was mine so it's better than staying back where you are and being in the misery it affects your health your mental health, your physical health. It affects children's health. If you're in that situation, please use your adaptability to get out. 
don't say you don't have any money because I used to say the same thing and I was able to get the money to get out without borrowing the money from anyone. Sometimes you have to hide money to be able to get out. You're going to have to prepare if, if you need to move out or flee in the middle of the night. You're gonna to have to prepare, get all your documents together, tax returns, pack a bag for you and your kids or whomever else, but don't let him see that you're doing that because that could be really bad. You can dream about a better life. And dreams do come true. You'll have safety while getting to a safe place. Just be smart about it. If you have to let the authorities know, you do. You uh, let them know ahead of time. Let some family members know that aren't going to say anything. You'll have great satisfaction once you get there. Look at the turtle moving on his way going through the open uh, ivy to where there's a pathway cut for him. And you have one cut for you too. Don't allow any more upheaval. See how that crow has, is wearing a mask? Well, most of you guys live with someone like that. Don't allow the mask to fool you. If he's a narcissist, he'll pour on the charm or he'll get really mean, really mean when you unmask him. It's a tightrope that you have to walk. You'll need confidence to deal with the deceit. Third party, three flowers. It'll take leadership, communication, determination, luck, overcoming obstacles, Productivity, almost to the end, you'll have happiness and independence. We've talked about this cat as he came up in earlier readings that we have done. Look at his eyes. Look how tall he's sitting up and look at his stare. That cat knows exactly what he's doing. He has the fortitude to get where he needs to go without relying on anyone. And he can do for himself. It all goes down to not accepting this behavior anymore. When you can start at the beginning and be honest with yourself and not accept it, that is when you'll get to your independence and not before that. If you can't acknowledge this is going on, you're not going anywhere. And that's a damn shame that you're leaving yourself stuck in a situation like that. You're worth way more than that on any day of the week. It's like the book said, everybody faces heartache. You can't be a human without facing it. But once you get through it, you need to acknowledge it and don't stick around for this anymore. This isn't worth your health. It's not worth your kid's health. And it's not worth the drama. Sometimes I wonder, reading the tarot 
Driftwoods, because I watched Tarot too. I wonder if in reading the threads that people stay because they love the drama. They love the, you know, dopamine hit that it gives them. But then when they crash down after it, they don't feel good. And in being in fight or flight mode, which is a hit of dop dopamine and cortisol, after a while, your body becomes ill from that. And I know that because it happened to me, eight years of it. So don't let it happen to you. I mean, I hope everybody's getting something out of my um, reads. And I know like a, not, a lot of people aren't seeing them. I had like 75 views the one day, but it's okay. It'll grow at a slow rate. You don't want to ever take off really quickly when you do something. Um, but I know I'll reach the right people and it'll grow. It'll, you know, Universal uh, take care of their own. And I'm just happy to be here and be able to help people. So get away from this dude and you'll have your independence. Have a good day, guys.